Hey guys, how are you doing? So, sorry if you can hear the dehumidifier. It's going crazy. But today, I am got my coat, got my mask in my Ziploc baggie. I'm going over to Milton Keynes because last week, um, yep, I think it was last Thursday or Friday, Harrods opened a Harrods Beauty or H Beauty in Centre MK and I'm gonna go check it out see what's good what's popping I'm not into like beauty stuff really but I want to see what it is because this is like a monumental moment like Harrods has opened in Milton Keynes say what um this is their second H Beauty one first opened I believe it was last year in um Lakeside in Essex and this is their second one which is apparently bigger I know where it is because I've been to Milton Keynes recently and um, I've seen the boards up with it where it is so it's in the old house of Fraser now don't quote me but I believe Harrods owned or owned the lease or something of that building um, of that unit anyway and um, when House of Fraser was in there Mike Ashley who owns House of Fraser could not strike an agreement with Harrods which is why it eventually closed um or it didn't eventually close it's been closed a while but today we're going to have a look around h beauty um to see what harrods has to offer in milton Keynes. so this was h beauty's entrance on the mns side so that's what it looks like and this is one of their windows this is coming from river island that end so that's what it looks like from this side um coming in here on the left here is the champagne bar and the click and collect champagne bar obviously not open during this time um coming over here though that was this is skincare section and um, they've got the ordinary over there they've got a david clullo is that who you say it sunglasses section so they do have some accessories um this was the keel stand shiseido and fresh they also have over here more of like the skincare section and moving on to fragrance lot of um do they call it boutique fragrances i've they've got in um harrods or is that what they call it niche fragrance brands um but there's a gucci chanel dior um dolce and gabbana and tom ford all have like big own in um like concessions in here um, and there's a Brairado on the side there. Another look at the Gucci store. Um, this is more of the skincare section. They've got a lot of these mirrors that light up, through which I suppose during normal times that you can um, use um, to look at yourself and see what is happening, <laughs> I suppose. And they've got some hair tools and stuff as well, if you were interested in that, like GHD and stuff. Um, more like skincare section, quite a big skincare section, really, um, and more of these niche brands. This was the middle bit here, which um, you can see they boarded up the escalators. More of the uh, makeup stands, so there's like Givin Givenchy, Nisa Givenchy, Estee Lauder, and right in the corner there, you can see, I think you can see, is a Sky Kylie skin. They've got Hourglass too as well. So I'm back from i've now got you on a stand um a bit less vlog style i suppose but i'm back from milton Keynes. um i did pop in to primark um and i did actually buy some things but it was really not that interesting um i got some uh like bubble stuff for my niece and nephew for the summer i'm going to give it to them as like a summer treat present and i got my nephew some shorts because he needed some more shorts which were like five pound fifty got like this bubble helicopter thing which was like two pound fifty got both two of those one each and got like a bubble gun thing and a bubble camera thing for i believe they were one pound each and then like four bubble you just know normal bubble things for a pound each and a coloring book actually as well so that was a pound as well so yeah, that's all I got in Primark, so I'm not going to show you that. Plus, I've already dropped it off at my parents because it's just easier to store it there. So, round up thoughts of H Beauty. Obviously, it's only on, well, I hope you saw in the pictures, but it's only on the ground floor. So, they've not taken up the upstairs of um, the old House of Fraser store with the H Beauty stuff. If you've, I've, I was going to film a come shop with me once at the new Next 
beauty and home store there but I just didn't um I went in like the day after it opened but I just there was a lot of people well there was a lot of staff and not a lot of people so I felt a bit uncomfortable but how um Milton Keynes is very like beauty it's got a lot of beauty stuff now like there's three Chanel no four Chanel counters in Milton Keynes now because you've got one in next because I saw it when I went past you got one in the Harrods um you've got one in um Boots and you've got one in John Lewis so there is four Chanel counters and I believe actually Chanel I think Actually, no, I think it's always been like that, actually, because I think House of Fraser had a Chanel and Debenhams had a Chanel, I believe. But yeah, there's a lot of brands that are obviously um, exclusive to Harrods that are in there from that aren't anywhere else in Milton Keynes. So there's a Kylie Skin I saw, um, Dolce & Gabbana Beauty, Gucci Beauty, which I believe those possibly might be... Um, Harrods exclusive in general. There's that, uh, there's a lot of fragrance brands. So Pentacallin, Pentacon, something like that. I was saying Pentacallin because that's <laughs> at uni, that was where, um, that was one of the campuses. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's that, um, there's a lot of other stuff, but there's also a lot of stuff that is not unique. So, like I said, Chanel, there's Armani, which is already in John Lewis. There was, um, like YSL, there's already one of them, Estee Lauder, they're everywhere. Um, so yeah, if you are into beauty, it's probably quite exciting, but there wasn't really anything that I wanted to pick up. They got a Kiehl's in there as well, which I nearly went into because um, I love their Kiehl's face wash, the oil-free cleanser, ultra oil-free or something like that. Um, and I wanted to try a long time ago the moisturiser from them, but there's a Kiehl's there, and there is also actually a Kiehl's store in Milton Keynes anyway. Um, so yeah, up to you where you choose to get that from. I suppose it's good to see it in person. Obviously, none of the testers are anything out at the moment. So yeah, all the, there's a Tom Ford as well, which I don't think there is in um, John Lewis. But there's a Charlotte Tilbury in John Lewis where there isn't one in... Um, Harrods but anyway that I hope you were quite interesting if you wanted to see what Harrods a H it's called H Beauty also there's a champagne bar as well which I also looked at the I didn't look at it because it wasn't open anyway um but I watched a video yesterday of H Beauty of the director of beauty or something at Harrods going around it and she said you can get food like hot food or a snack and a, like a coffee at the champagne bar as well. So if you don't just want champagne, you can get that there. And they also have a click and collect. So if you're buying stuff from Harrods, you can get a click and collect there. If you live in the Milton Keynes area, it's not good for me, obviously, because I'm like a 40, 45 minute drive away. But yeah, if you are into beauty, I um, it's an exciting launch for um, Harrods to be opened in Milton Keynes. And it's so weird, like Harrods in Milton Keynes, you never thought you would say that. I know it's not a full blown Harrods, um, and they don't do any of like the gifts or anything, which I thought they might do like some key rings and stuff, but then there was none of that. So yeah, but there was also some bits blocked off where I'm guessing they're gonna do something else. I don't know, but yeah, or maybe that was just like the stock room because oh the escalators in the middle they were like you can you can't go on them, but they go up to a door, and it's all blocked off. But yeah, uh, yeah, so. I hope you guys are well thank you guys so much for watching this video if you're not already please subscribe we do a lot more come shop with me's on this channel it seems to be a rep i keep knocking you sorry it seems to be i'm doing very a lot of well a lot of come shop with me which is kind of the whole premise of Sh the secret shopper isn't it but yeah hope you guys are well subscribe if you're not already follow me on instagrams as well and i'll see you in my next one bye